Hello ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about the differences between the hunting grounds and I'm pretty sure majority of people do not know that. Um, what's important is in which hunting ground uh, driven wild boar takes place determines how it's how much money is going to cost. Let's make a few difference. Number one, Hunting ground that is on a state-owned land means that usually, usually, uh, forests and trees are managed uh, by the same company. They usually uh, go in every block, block of woodland once in few years, or sometimes even once in ten years to make the cut the big, big trees. So that means there's enough peace and quiet and food for those animals. I'll give you an example. Uh, oaks are being cut once they're old between let's say 120 and 140 years old usually they're thick 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 uh, in every good year except less few but that's a whole different topic oak can bring 100 kilos of acorn and one hectare you have about 60 of them big 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 ones so that means six tons of acorn as food for wild game is being produced at one hectare so if, if your hunting ground is 10,000 hectares and half of these oak, oak trees woodland there's serious amount of food uh, home or natural grown food for wild boar or any animals uh, that also means if it's woodland managed by one company or state-owned company people with tractors and chainsaws will go in that patch of woodland once in every few years that means in, that they there have uh, animals there have quiet and peace and they can find shelter and they also do what what we call uh, thinning of that um, thick thick cover so that means um, that they grow in trees whatever they like to promote I'll now give you an example of um, hunting grounds that are on private land private land is usually less in size than state-owned land and that also means that private land can be managed by private owners private owners they have their own needs they are, have their own priorities that means a normal block of woodland literally every week there's somewhere tractors and chainsaws are cutting trees down and tractors are pulling trees out of the woods so that means not a lot of peace and quiet on the other hand if you have small block of woodland once you cut the trees down there's not enough place to make thick thick cover which wild boar can find um, as place to stay in on the other hand uh, private owners do not wait always 100 or 120 or 140 years to grow uh, oak so they can then uh, have acorn they cut those trees sooner because they don't produce them to make uh, furniture sometimes they produce those trees to keep their house houses warm so their priority is different and the last the most important thing is some of those gr grounds are designed usually state-owned grounds hunting grounds um, and managed by usually private companies or state-owned company are designed in such a way that hunting is easier I'll give an example blocks of woodland are 400 by 800 meters so if you look at from from above it looks like a chessboard on the other hand if when they managing that blocks of woodland even the roads are uh, they're easier um, to be used with normal vehicles because they maintain maintained you know and they if the roads are not good they they fix it so the big lorries can can drive through them to get the the, the wood out of the woodland on the other hand to get with um, small cars people on the pegs because uh, driven wild boar is also in those woodlands business so have all that in mind and if someone gives you a price on a driven wild boar hunt and if it looks too much that does not mean that they're making a lot of money that usually means that it's in the state-owned land and be careful or just ask in which grounds you're gonna go so that you know why this hunt costs so much that's very important so if it's state-owned managed land state-owned woodland state-owned company managing wildlife they have all the resources to make that hunt a great hunt or more chances than normal shooting club thank you for your time cheers bye